contributed to the organization, continue to love this, uh, love the writers for this consortium. There's, he started something that should continue in the tradition of, from my, from what my knowledge is of I.F. Stone, I'd say early in the 50s. And although I was a conservative, I certainly read some of his stuff and was shocked. And later, Drew Pearson and Jack Anderson who that you may criticize them for certain things, but they did a hell of a job of waking me up. And we need those journalists without them. John Pilger, who's sitting here today is another one. We need these people to go in and people don't do that. And it's stunning to me that that's, well, I guess I have to understand why it's scary. Bob, thank God, got out of the rabbit hole and as angry as he was, he was, he, he never gave up insisting that he had uh, the truth. And I'd like, even he went back to Iran Contra as late as a few weeks before he died. Bob was at the forefront. He's one of the best. I would consider him right up there with, you know, with Pearson, as I said, Stone, Anderson. I mean, he sacrificed a lot. He was never into the money. He never was into the position. When I met him in Washington, he was quite, he was quite content to have a subscription service supporting his work and his a base of people who read his stuff. There was no bigger ambition than to tell the truth is what I think of Bob. And in that regard, he's, you have to respect him enormously. He's, he's a treasure. He was a national treasure.